Hello, my name is Bob Benson. It's uh, time for another episode of It's Not About You, where we're talking about selfishness and selflessness, and we're digging into our Bibles, and we're going to talk uh, for the next couple of weeks about uh, some very selfish people. Uh, they didn't appear selfish to themselves, but they did appear selfish as we look at them. The first one that we run into in the Bible is we're in Genesis. It doesn't take very long to run into the verse, very selfish person. Cain is an example of one who had no concern for others, what others thought, what others felt, what they were going through. Uh, most of us are familiar with the story of Cain, how God rejected his sacrifice while accepting his brother's sacrifice, Abel's sacrifice. Cain was jealous of his brother, and he had no regard for anyone but himself, and he murders his brother over this, even though his brother didn't do anything wrong because it made Cain look bad. Afterward, God asks him where, where, where he is, and Cain responds with a question, am I my brother's keeper? Am I supposed to watch out for my brother? And that's a really interesting question. When we're selfless, we think of others more highly than we think of ourselves. It doesn't mean that we stop thinking of ourselves, but we get our priority right, and we start thinking of others and how we affect others. Um, all of us have to realize that we are our brother's keepers. God wants us as brothers and sisters in Christ to be unified as him and his father were unified. That's pretty close. That's what he calls us to. Uh, we're to look out for the interests of others. That's what it says in Philippians 2.4. We're supposed to esteem others more than we esteem ourselves. That's uh, Philippians 2.3. We must love one another. 1 John 4.7. Cain's selfishness caused him to hate his brother and kill him. And God said to him, sin crouches at your door. And it looks to overtake you. And we have to think that way. Satan is alive and well and still affecting things on this planet. Um, we have to see him as crouching at our door. Uh, when we are called to this selflessness, do we respond? To, and do we respond in a right way? Um, and I think that's, that's important for us to remember. And it's important for us to model. So uh, as people who are selfless, let's think of ourselves less as we think of others more highly. That would be my challenge for you this week. So for It's Not About You, thank you for taking the time to watch.